enterprising engines, springs. Reneus was sent away to the works to be repaired since his parts were worn. Sir Topham Hack came to see the, um, see Scarlowe. He was going to talk to Scarlowe about having, uh, having Rene him being, doing Reneus's jobs as well as his own. Well, having him. Scarlowe, I will not be having you do Reneus's jobs as well as your own, but I need you to cover his train, Ain of passengers for the next couple of weeks. Well, yes, sir. I can do that. That's a good engine. Have a great day. Scarlowe puffed away, but he inside he didn't feel the best. But he knew he wasn't gonna let the passengers down. At the station, Scarlowe saw all that the station was crowded, and there was James. Hello there, James. Hello, Scarlowe. How are you today? Ugh, I'm having a terrible day. What do you think? Ugh, I've been. I woke up this morning not feeling well. My crew thought I was faking it, and just these passengers. It's just ah, it's such a hot day. Well, I hope today gets better. Well, I know my day has started off rotten. Duncan, will you stop complaining just for five minutes? You really are. You just really have put me in a bad mood. I do. I really do not like to want to hear uh, hear this. With Reneus gone here, with Reneus gone, you need to be on your best behavior for me, because I he's the nice one, not me. <whistles> Ready to go now, Scarlowe. I will be back, Duncan, and hopefully your mood will be changed. Huh. That's just, that was now that was just rude to say. Scarlowe shoved Hipperly down the line. He was giving the passengers a splendid ride. Well, this trip is certainly going well. Oh, oh, uh, but my spr oh, but my springs feel like they're going to snap. <laughs> And that's exactly what happened. Scarlowe ground to a halt, and he sprung his springs. Scarlowe's springs had sprung, and he was tilted to one side. Ow! My springs are sprung. Uh, that's exactly what happened, Scarlowe. How am I going to get the passengers home? Yeah, you think we'll, do you think we'll have to phone a bus? No, we're not phoning a bus. I'm gonna get the these people to their destination, whether I break down or not. Get back in my cab, and I will del finish the journey, if you say so. But the driver was still concerned. Scarlowe set off, but sore. I'll make it or bust," said Scarlowe to himself. Scarlowe finally chuffed into the station one final puff. <sighs> oh, hey, my goodness, what has happened to you? Yes, Scarlowe, you look like you're about to burst. I'm not. My springs have just sprung, and I'm completely. Ugh, I need to be completely repaired. And that is why I am sending. I, I I am bringing buying two new engines to run the railway with Duncan while you are away. Oh really? Who are those? The their names are Sir Handel and Peter Sam. These are new names given to them. M M M. While I buy a maintenance diesel, a maintenance diesel. Yes. Well, that will be good. This will make it the railway back to working order again. Yes, it will, Scarlowe. And you are going to be sent to the place where Reneus is. Oh, wow. Really, sir? Yes. Y yes. Beep, beep. I'll hope you get better, Scarlowe. And as for you, Duncan... I'm having you go. I'm having you work at the slate mines to bring that attitude of yours back down to level. 
Oh, hey, sir, why? Don't, Duncan, don't argue. Yes, sir. Have a great day, gentlemen. Epilogue. Ah, uh, there ain't not much this railway. What do you mean, Sir Handel? This railway is very beautiful. It looks amazing. Well, that's fine and dandy, but I don't think it's beautiful. This looks like a normal narrow gauge railway. Nothing special around. Well, it looks like we've done the right thing. Now, it's time to get out of here before the before we get in trouble. You you're right. Now let's go. Right. Now what did the boss now what what did the boss say again? Bury the body and then get back phone soon. Oh yes, we better not be late. He can get very snappy.